Hey, what's up everyone? So I came across this yesterday, but I didn't really necessarily want to talk about it until I was motivated. But I said, yeah, lots of people are now realizing that even the worst people online or when it comes to opinions and certain ideologies, even th these people are conflicted in terms of their default <sighs> brain sets versus actual enjoyment encouragement of positivity and optimism now ghost of yote yotai i actually don't even know how to pronounce it i still don't know but obviously the ghost of Tsushima sequel that was highly anticipated was announced two days ago and these people the culture war anti-war grifters paid no expense on specifying that it's woke based on the female protagonist and I said, these people just ruined everything with their nonsense, their prejudice and biases, their tomfoolery. I, I, I can't stress enough how much is displeasing to have these people and these talking points fully integrated in entertainment and culture discourse. I really flat out do not like it. I want all these people to go away. And I know lots of people are going to take issue with me stating that fact, even though it's like, well, I accept real constructive criticism or just basic criticism, negativity. But when your negativity stems from the point of, you know, being displeased, triggered, offended, or frustrated at the fact that, you know, a woman is on screen, a minority is on screen, someone part of the LGBT community is on screen, it's like, I just... You know, I'm sick of saying the same talking points because it's true. It's, it's, it's the main three things they criticize the most. You know, that's normally what makes them who they are and, and why their audiences are are, are um, so appealed to their content or their posts or whatever they do on social media platforms. Because it's like, the, these are the hardcore people who act this way. Um, but seeing this, Ghost of Tsushima 2 Brandon Woke because its main character is a woman and that is true and they are coming at the, the actual voice actress based on her being i guess hardcore leftist liberal and she has says lots of stuff that they don't like i know i know lawson got triggered at the fact that she mass blocked a bunch of them prehand and post as well whereas like she anticipated this type of outrage see she anticipated the pattern that these people have and she already knew what specific accounts and, and, and public figures act this way. So again, it, it, it had me laughing with glee at the fact that all of them found out they were already blocked by a person that they never knew existed. And it is kind of funny because they went straight to her account for a reason. So again, it's like, don't even try to pretend you weren't going to harass her because lots of people already were before they started using the talking point that, that she's a leftist. Ooh, oh, or, 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 or um, she uses pronouns or she's gender fluid. Oh, that's, that's a problem. That means the game's combat, story, narrative, graphics are all going to be bad. It's like, yeah, I, again, you, you have to be, f I, <laughs> I almost said a bad word. I was going to use the F word and the R word, but I was like, I caught myself. But it's like, you have to be that to think that way. Now, this person who I'm not really that well versed in, but I, I do recognize him as part of the fandom menace, you know, the the, the anti anti CW crowd, to the point that she's a, she appears in a bunch of their streams, where it's like coming from her saying this. That really is um, intriguing because it's like this is something that your audience, your audience, would be um, instantly um, turned off by even though it's based on truth and reality and factual information, just by searching it up, how many people were crying and seething because they were, they were indoctrinated or trained to, to do so. Now, let me read this. Let me stop babbling. So why are so many dudes freaking out about ghosts of Yotai being a female protagonist? If the story is good, what's the problem? Which that is something I've heard numerous times, even from these people, even though it's obvious where it's like, you, you know what, the, what they're really criticizing and what they actually have a problem with. But I, I have heard that numerous times where it's like, I think we're at this point into this so-called culture war from, from, from that crowd where it's like, it doesn't matter anymore. 
at first, yeah, yeah, those are the talking points they were using back in what 2016, 17, 18. But now, doesn't matter. Their their audiences are used to this. They they expect this from them. And if you don't oblige to their demands, you're a shill, you're a sellout. The the woke mind virus got you, even though you're you're basically just calling out harassment or shitty people. But let's go to the <laughs> the replies because there's one specific person that lots of us do recognize as one of those content creators. Obviously, a friend of this person as well. Where it's like it's, it's like the anti SCWs are now infighting and and you know um talking amongst themselves. You know what I hate the most? How they call each other grifters or or fake outreach peddlers. But it's like now you want to admit it when you have beef with someone. On, on your side or, or whatever, but usually it's just protecting them no matter what by default. So now you want to admit what everyone else has been st has been saying. Like, come on, man, that shit's wild. That's why I don't play sides. If you're stupid, you're stupid. Doesn't matter. But let's see. Um, you should apply for a job at Lucasfilm. Now we already know who that is. <laughs> um, let's see what's what's her reply. To bring back George Lucas Star Wars, yeah, I should. So I guess that's supposed to be your own. Since, since I, you know these people have a irrational and are hyper fixated on shitting on Star Wars, Lucasfilm, calling them woke. Every every time these people start prehand harassment campaigns, because they are all manufactured, among other themes but let's be honest the whole um george lucas thing not not to mention it because this is not about star wars but it's like there definitely is an overlap between the toxic star wars fans and also the the fandom menace um anti-wolf types where it's like i would not be surprised if, if a bunch of them were there back then during the prequel days where they were calling george lucas um numerous names harassing him Saying the prequel sucked. I mean, that's the reason why he sold it to Disney to begin with. Where it's like, you know, majority of people were calling it the, the movies lesser and, and, and inferior to the original. Some people were even going overboard saying that this is pure garbage. George Lucas doesn't know what he's doing. Remove him. And of course, all that builds up over the years and he just wasn't having fun. You know, he was constantly getting criticized. He was getting all this hate and he just, he didn't want to do it anymore. Cause I can guarantee you, if that wasn't the, the course, he definitely still would be around handling Star Wars. Whether it would have been good or not, that's just, <laughs> that's something these people will never admit. <laughs> I mean, I have a soft spot for the, for the prequels, I'm not gonna lie. And, I, and the prequel era is my favorite era of Star Wars, but it's like, let's be honest, man. This, this, this false facade you have about George Lucas' own ability to, 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 um, headline his own franchise it's it's no <laughs> no he can't i'm sorry he, he needs help um what's this you just generalize men acting like men have a problem with women in media that is not the problem and it's never been the problem there are valid reasons why people are overly cautious about anything in media today just repeated left-wing propaganda attacking men hilarious mm -hmm. Now it's kind of cringe how a grown man, grown man, and a bunch of them actually do talk like this as well, where it's like robotic in, in a way. It's like, you have to repeat the talking points, but it's like, whether you believe him or not, or not just that, it's like, you have to have this copy and paste formula for how you interact with people. It's like, this is so cringe, man. You know, left wing, left, right. I mean, the, the fact that people are just that straight narrowed in terms of, of I guess, how they see the world. I mean, what happens in the middle? What happens to up and down? Like, come on. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm just being stupid. But um, again, he just generalized the, the statement. I mean, that, that, you know what I hate the most about these people? Is that um, you call out a certain demographic of people adding a certain way and they say it's, it, they're attacking everyone. They're attacking all the fans. All the fans should be mad. All the fans should be um, angry at, at this corporation or studio or person, personnel. Or else, like, that's, that's not the case. That's not what was stated. Stop twisting words. And again, the only reason why they do that is because they know it applies to them, which is true. It does apply to them because <laughs> they, they have a constant history of acting this way. So that's something I never understood where it's like, 
it's, it's not hard to assume you guys are being racist, sexist, misogynist, or homophobic when it's like there's a long pattern of certain accounts and figureheads acting that way. But again, it's people aren't that big brain, I guess. It's, it's that anti woke brain roll, you know, the, the alt right pipeline, the conservative pipeline. And again, um, all, all this stems from like the entertainment um, side of things when, when I use those phrases. Because I'm pretty sure like the actual um, stuff that has to have to do with entertainment discourse is probably different in the political side. But that's something I am not educated at all with. So I can't even say anything. This is 100% disingenuous. People were calling it Ghost of Woke Shima and crying about a female protagonist before the voice actor turned out to be a crazy leftist. I saw some of the posts and rolled my eyes. I wasn't the only one pointing it out either. Okay, and I'll say this about the, the voice actor. Again, leftist, liberal, hardcore, um, left wing. Uh, I mean, I, I saw some of the stuff. I mean, again, being gender fluid, or using pronouns, I mean, who fucking cares? I mean, if you're really offended by that, then you're just a, a weirdo. Um, being, again, the LGBT community, who cares again about that? Um, stuff regarding, like, policies or, or police. I saw some stuff there, but it's like, it's, it's all your personal opinion and beliefs anyway. Again, it's like, you know for a fact, if it was the other course around where she was, like, super alt-right, or conservative, but then spilling, spewing a bunch of, of, of negativity, they wouldn't care because it's something that they agree with or or someone on their side. Again, it's, it's all a side thing. Unless there's actual harmful actions being taken place or statements being said that are borderline criminal or egregious, then who, who should care? Um, but let's see. I wasn't the only one pointing it out either, and it's understandable that in current day people would be apprehensive about AAA games, but I felt like they were giving excuses to the leftist journals like you are now. I mean, the thing I hate, I, this, is what, this is what I keep saying, can you guys just talk like regular people? <laughs> Why was it bringing, you know, I, a politics or whatever? Um, if anyone is generalizing, it's you because I always thought you had no problem with a female protag as long as the story was good. I mean, maybe at first, but again, it, there's lots of benefits, you know, when it comes to algorithm engagement and profit out of acting this way, especially when you have to sell your fans on the idea that you actually believe this shit. So it's like, of course, you have to be super nut job weirdo. Um, yet, yet, yet here you are going off about how we should be. Outrage, sorry, I'll keep my outrage for when there is a, a, a thing to be outraged about. Blue Eye Samurai on Netflix was about a female samurai and it was great. Had a fantastic story. No one complained. I'm hoping this will be the same. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she, she actually is kind of spreading in the end. Whereas, like, even I said it numerous times, I'll be mad when there's something reasonable to be mad about. And what these people, unfortunately, her included, get mad about most of the time is something that I would never be mad about. I have no problem with criticism being negative, even hating something, but for the right reasons. And do I want it to get better? Yeah, of course. Does that really um, mean I'll stick around? Most of the time, yes. Sometimes, no. It depends. If I feel like something's worth my time or not. But it's like, you hate to see this because like, um, there's so much stuff. You, you actually can't criticize games for it, but people want to focus on the most stupidest reasons. And then they have the goal to be mad that people aren't taking them seriously. Where it's like, why, why, why should I take this seriously? Why? Name one reason. Why? You know, I, I, I don't care. It's invalid to me. Wait a minute. You want to talk about disingenuous? Are you telling me not one single female on the internet has had any complaints about this game announcement? None. Not one. You sure you want to go down that? But well, apparently women's voices don't matter. You generalize only. Is he having, he's basically kind of having a meltdown if you think about it. <laughs> uh, dudes have complained. Just those toxic men right out of the Lucasfilm playbook. Laughable. And for the record, yeah, he, he is getting triggered and offended. I've already said the game itself does not look woke at all to me. But, but I'm just one of those angry toxic men complaining about women in, in my videos. Games my video games according to you i mean yeah you actually are but i guess in, in in this case you aren't but you're still being toxic or you're still being offended on behalf of people 
even though you are part of that group, just not this time, but being offended on their behalf. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> the the thing about this as well, and and, and I, I hate that, that sentence right out of Lucasfilm playbook because these people, again, they talk the most purest shit ever just to get mad when someone replies. And they, 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 they show, you know, time and time again how they operate when they get mad, when they get those type of responses. It's like, what do you expect? Don't act that way then. Like, I get it, you find pleasure or you're entertained in acting that way. You know, have, having this this type of, of cesspool of negativity around you, surrounding you. You know, everyone you know ha has to have this type of, of one, one, um, I don't even know what, what I'm looking for. One mindset? Is that the term I'm looking for? Um, wavelength in terms of, 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 of brain function? I guess I'll just use that. I don't know. But... <laughs> Again, I, I don't understand the issue when it's actually there, but I, I do, I, I do understand that, you know, you, you should never have said this since it's like the, the audience you actually are part of, you know, I, I'm pretty sure a majority of them are, you know, act this way. Are you serious, serious right now? I did not say that if there are women upset about this announcement, I have not seen them or I would have said the same thing to them. Of course, their voices matter. All voices matter. Uh, let's see. Chasing those windmills, that's fine. You do you. I'll say this as well. Where it's like, um, of course, other opinions matter. It's just that, you know, it doesn't matter if you're... <laughs> I'll say this because it's true. It doesn't matter. If, as long as you go this route in terms of criticism, it doesn't matter if you're a man, a woman, gay, straight, um, black, white, whatever. It's like, you know, why I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not. I choose not to listen to you because it's, it's nonsense. And you can get, you can get mad at me for it. You have your, your right to be mad, but it's like, I still have my right to ignore stuff. I, I see as pointless, pointless criticism. And you know, uh, stemming from a audience that has no moral compass at all either. That will basically attack you for any significant thing they claim is, is progressive. Um, and that's something I, I, I want to say as well, where it's like the whole notion of, well, they're saying the same thing we're saying, but they're women or they're black or whatever, where it's like, it's, it's like it's like that shield they use where it's like um you know we're we're anti-woke but we're, we're part of, we're diverse as well so why so how 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 does that really fit your narrative where it's like first of all they're, they're just using you as as the token you know whatever within their groups and, and and they just use you it's like it's like some diversity shielding where it's like um I and mean, i'm using their term too where it's like they just want you there so that if anyone tries to criticize them they'll just say, point to you and say but they don't have a problem with what i'm saying so that must be um that, that must be um the truth and i must be in the right um all voices matter specifically complaints about dudes voices how they should shut up that this is amazing continue your projection we're all laughing at you yeah, this nigga's triggered as fuck. <laughs> That's why I hate these days on the internet. Where it's like people, again, you you see what people are saying, and somehow you want to defend them. Like I I don't understand that. I would have minded my own business. You deserve to be um eating eating alive. First off, not once did I say they should shut up. Don't push. Don't put words in my mouth. Second, yes, all voices matter. I said so many dudes because that's who's, that's who I've been, who I've seen complaining about. So many does not imply all. All I did was ask a simple question. You got triggered. Yeah, I'm done reading this, but it's like lots of people in the reply saw this and they were like, yeah, it's like, it's a shame because you're making good points, but it's like, again, the audience that, you, that yeah, you're um, engulfed in was always going to have the response and a bunch of your friends who, who are that way are 
gonna get mad. And there's another content creator who definitely is anti woke, who um is another woman, who I, I've I've seen is is fully cuckoo for cocoa pups with that mindset. You know, full on di woke garbage, woke flop, diversity, this and that. So it's like to say this that you 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 know Toshima was a great game, and I hope Yotai ends up being just as good. I've always say people are allowed to have their own opinions, but should leave their radical activist bullshit at the door when going to work. If only you guys would do that when making content, you know, making videos and streams and talking about entertainment analysis, breakdown and discourse. If only you guys would act like, like this as well. Like, like, um, preach your own words. Um, can she do that? Probably not. But it's like, what is she saying exactly? Besides just blocking the grifters. I mean, you could say you, you don't like her politics. Sure. But it's like, just because you don't like her politics, it's mean, first of all, that won't impact the game at all. You know, who cares? People are, are very much excited for this. But also it's like, that's a you problem. Um, probably not judging by what she spews on her socials, but she's not a writer. So there's that. I highly doubt she'll be the only person on this team who go, got a history of posts that'll cause backlash. Plus, Sony is known for their interference in final products. I mean, you guys cause, you know, backlash out of nothing. Someone could say a slight thing or, or even respond to you after, you know, like weeks, days, or months of bullshit. And you'll, you'll act like, um, you, you know, the, the old nuclear explode and then start um, going into a craze. But that's something I've seen a well. Something I've seen as well, where it's like, damn, that's kind of weird. You know, the 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 grifters themselves are responding, going against the other grifters. But I saw this. So apparently, in in Ghost of Yotai, a progressive activist known as known for hating the police and telling straight women who disagree with LGBT to log off is not just a voice actor for the games. She's also the face and mocap for the new Sucker Punch title. It's an asset. I'm not gonna read the rest, but obviously they're trying to create this narrative that this game is woke, it's gonna be a disaster, this is now you should not support it. And then someone quote tweeted it, and I'm pretty sure this is a ratio. Let me actually look at this real quick. Um no, it's not a ratio. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not. Ready to save money. Ah, see, now they're saying people don't 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 buy the game. It's not worth your time. Why? I mean, this shit is so cringe, but I do like this response. Do gamers ever get tired of doing this? Okay, there is the truth where it's like, um, again, this is such a mentally ill way to see things. And I don't care about, you know, saying that because it's true. It's like, no way are these real people. You know, I, 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 I refuse to believe there's an actual account behind this that says this shit with a, with a straight face, like no jokes, not nothing. You, you just fully believe this and you're fine with, um, I guess stating that because of this fact, the game will be a, a flop. Like, <sighs> but I do like this. Cause, um, he, <laughs> going back to like that, that whole thread of, of, of back and forth. Um, this, this dude definitely sounded like the deep in that, um, episode of the boys season four. So much. First, you try to cancel me, victimize an innocent man, because I guess that's just cool to do to white guys nowadays, but jokes on you. Me Too's over, sweetheart. It didn't work. Wah, wah, wah. So much. First, you try to... <laughs> That's crazy. Um, but I, I did like another response that this person has where it's like responding to the original poster of, of that tweet where it's like, well, that's the, co that's the audience you cultivated. So it's like, what did you expect? And, and I saw one reply that I actually do agree with where it's like these people, these content creators and people on social media have um, warped these people into being hypersensitive over any little thing, again, progressive or anything that they, they deem um, so, something they disagree with, basically. So it's like, uh, yeah, that that is pretty much the case. These people are very hypersensitive. Uh, 